Finish it up, yeah. Okay. Welcome back to the Jealous Podcast. I am still Shelby and I am still here while Mackenzie's on maternity leave. They haven't got rid of me yet. But today I am with Anna Foley. Hi. Hi. Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited. She is our new client manager here at Bing Bang and we just had to get her on to learn more about her, what she's doing here at Bing Bang, and we just need to get to little know a little bit more of Anna. So, when did you start here? You've been here for a bit now. Um, It's almost been a month. June 27th. Oh, what yep. is the biggest thing you've learned so far? Oh, that's a good <laughs> question. That's a hard one off the bat. I'm like, like no. wow. Honestly, I'm just trying to, like, um, absorb everything. Yeah. Um, And just try and see all the different processes and everything that you guys are doing. But I'm trying to think, like, I don't know if there's one thing. But no. I'm just trying to absorb it all. And You, you know, have to. We always say we're just throw you in the yep. water and hope you can float, yes. you know? I, I was, agree. Honestly, that's the best way to do it. Th- that's how you learn. I was describing to someone yesterday, right now I feel like, you know when you see a duck and they look so calm above the water, but underneath you just know their yes. feet are going, yes. that's how I yep. feel right now. Definitely. I don't know about you. No, I do. <laughs> oh, that's so amazing. So something that stands out, what brought to you, what got you interested in wanting to come to Bing Bing, I guess? Yeah, yeah, good question. So I would say um, I've decided I wanted, you know, to change career paths and do something different. And what um, brought me to Bing Bang or drew me to you guys was just the variety of different things you guys do marketing-wise for your partners. Mm -hmm. Um, And I thought the video and photography side of things was awesome. Um, And just, you know, social media and everything else. I just wanted to be a part of that and do something different. And We have a fun little vibe over here. Mm -hmm. The guys know how to create some epic content content might I say um so we kind of I want to get to know you so I want you to tell a little bit more about yourself how you grew up how many siblings you had where you went to school all that jazz so lay it on me all righty (laughs) well I grew up um born and raised in Cedar Rapids Iowa so just about two hours away from here Mm -hmm. um grew up there my whole family is from Cedar Rapids um I have an older sister Amber um she's 29 and then um, she's a lawyer in Cedar Rapids. Oh, dang. Yeah, yeah. I Wait, how old are you up. again? 26? I'm 26. Okay. Yeah, 26. It. And then it's me. I'm the ne- I'm the actually kind of middle child because <laughs> my younger brother and sister are twins, um, and they're 22, and um, Olivia just graduated uh, college and has actually just moved in with me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've got a roommate, <laughs> and then my little brother Thomas has one more semester left at Iowa State. So That's there's so four of us. Cool. Yeah. What's it like being a middle child? I've always, you know, they have stigma, stigmas around right. the oldest and the youngest. I know. From your perspective, what's the middle child like? It's, I know. I always get asked that, and I'm like, I don't even know how to really describe it. I want to say it's kind of the best of both worlds because (laughs) I don't have to experience everything first and have all those rules you know when you're a teenager and like oh when do you get a phone you know all the little you know curfews and all that it's like my older sister had to go through that right um so I didn't have so I was kind of a little easier for me and then um my younger brother and sister I feel like they get away with everything right but I feel like I'm like right in the middle like the in between I don't know Uh I don't mind I mean I don't mind it and I I like it, I guess. I love that. So your sister has now moved in with you, so Mm -hmm. you have a full house. You also have a dog. I do, yes. What's her name? Um, So it's Boy, actually. Yes, his name is Nash. Nash. Um, He's a red golden doodle. Um, What makes him a red golden? Just their color, like... Yeah, so it's kind of funny. So golden doodles can come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. And um, he... So his mom was a dark red, like, golden retriever. And the dad was actually a red poodle, which I had no idea that was even a thing. Wait. Yeah. I need to look up a... I know Google they're all different colors, I guess. I I'm didn't just know picturing that. a fiery red poodle. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> it's more like a red, like a redhead, I would almost okay. say. You know, like yeah. a, um, I don't know, that's a bad way. But like he, um, yeah, so he's a dark red color, but um, yeah, and he's 85 pounds. He's huge. Oh, shit. He's only supposed <laughs> to be like 60, 65 pounds and just kept growing. And it's funny because my family and I have the joke of like, I should have named him Clifford. His name's Nash, by the way. I don't think I yeah. said that. Um, but he just kept growing and he's, he's that's a big boy. So funny. <laughs> Erin just came over and told us before we got started that her dog Chevy um, lost eight pounds. Oh my goodness. And the vet was super happy yesterday because he's now under 100. So Yay. I had to give a shout That's out to exciting. Chevy. Yeah. He likes to come in the office. Every yeah. Moment. Oh, you'll have to bring to Nash him. in. Yeah. He would love that. <laughs> <laughs> what made you choose the name Nash? So I love country music. <sighs> and um, honestly, dog names are so hard because so hard. you either know someone with that name, like a person, or somebody else's dog has that name. And I was like, 
I want something unique and something right. different. And um, I like country music and kind of just, I heard somebody else have that name. Or another dog have that name. Actually, I think um, Sean Johnson. Oh, You know, her yeah. dog's name. I follow her on social media. And her yeah. dog's name was Nash. And I was like, oh, that has a nice ring. And then once it was time to get a dog, I was like, ah, I like Nash. <laughs> Let's do it. I think she was in Iowa recently, wasn't she? I think yes, she was back. I, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, to seeing her old stomping grounds yeah. at the gymnastics Isn't part. funny? What country, like, what country artists do you like? Oh, that's a good question. Because I'm a big I, country music yeah. gal, too. Um, I would say my favorite right now, I really like Morgan Wallen. I like oh his gosh. music. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I love him. <laughs> I saw him in Omaha um, earlier this year, and I almost bought tickets to the Des Moines one because yeah. I was a little, you know, dranky drank. <laughs> but I wanted to see it again yeah. so I could actually, it was, like, It was such a take good it concert. All. Did you go to Des Moines? I went to the Des Moines one. Okay. Um, Tickets were not cheap, but no. I, yes, <laughs> that's I, why I, I did it. <laughs> and it was a great time, and I had so much fun. But I heard yeah. an interview with Luke Combs, and he someone asked him, "Who are the top country people right now in music from your perspective?" Mm-hmm. And he said, "Me and Morgan." And I'm like, "Wow!" I love that he recognizes that. Mm-hmm. But then it also brought up the question, like, "Who's the third? Who's the third I best?" Know. We Ooh, got wow. into a debate with that just because it's there, you, everyone has these singles and which mm-hmm. are great, but. It's I know. That is, that's a good question. I don't I even know. know who I would say the other one would be. I know. We brought up, like, Jordan Davis. Yeah. He's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, he's good. Oh, my friends are going to go see um, Chase Rice tonight. Ooh. It's in so Kansas City. Yeah. Oh, fun. That will be, that'll be a good show. I wanted to go so bad, but I have tickets tomorrow to, who am I going? Brothers Osborne yes. and Lee Bryce. That'll be so fun. And you're headed to the Jones County Fair this well, weekend, I, too. I was going to. <gasps> but you're not going to go yet. anymore? No. Well, so Lady A was supposed to perform on Saturday, and that show actually got canceled. Oh. So I'm not going anymore. Now it, they rescheduled it to... Um, now I can't even think of who it is. Oh, so oh, they changed they, the performer. Yes, so they refunded everyone their tickets. So I was gonna go and have a fun weekend there, but Wait, not anymore. Dang, that yeah. sucks because it was your twins. Yes, uh, my brother and not sister. Not your twins. <laughs> not mine. Not mine. No, my so little brother. We'll and get sister into that twins. next. No, I'm <laughs> um, they were gonna, or it's their birthday on Sunday, so they're doing a huge party bus, and everyone was gonna go to the Lady A concert. Oh. They're still doing a party oh, bus, for but sure. I'm not going because I'm not cool enough. So. Oh, whatever. You're so cool. Okay, so back to you. Where did you end up going to school at? Yeah, so um, I went to college at Bradley University um, in Peoria, Illinois. Okay. Um, there's a fly on here. Yeah, <laughs> they like <laughs> to join funny. us. Rodney brought a, bought a fly strip, so oh my gosh, it's not really hilarious. doing its job. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> um, well, I went to Bradley University in Peoria. I mm-hmm. studied um, communications and then minored in marketing. What drew um, you to Bradley? So it was kind of, I honestly toured a lot of different schools when I was getting ready to go to college, and Bradley just stood out to me because it was like the perfect size school um and it was two and a half almost three hours away from home mm-hmm. which was like just the perfect distance um and their communications program was awesome and cool. they just had a lot of cool opportunities that a lot of other schools that I looked at didn't have yeah um and also I knew I wanted to get involved and they had a lot of cool clubs or activities and I wanted to join a sorority so I joined a sorority when I was there and awesome. um yeah I, I really enjoyed it it was it was a good school for me and then what brought you to Des Moines so what brought me to Des Moines was actually my previous job. Uh-huh. Um, I always knew I thought I wanted to be in Des Moines. Um, my grandparents on my dad's side li- have lived here forever. Um, and so we would visit Des Moines for, you know, tournaments growing up, soccer, basketball, and would come visit my grandparents. And um, it's just two hours away from Cedar Rapids and yeah. just kind of thought Des Moines would be a fun city and it's up and coming and fun place for young cool. people. But my previous job is what brought me from Cedar Rapids to Des Moines. Did you ever live downtown did, or did, were you no. you're out in West Des Moines, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm in West Des Moines. The so whole I, time. Yes, yeah. Oh, I, I like West Des Moines. Everyone's like, why didn't you move downtown right when you moved here? But I was like, ah, uh, I don't know. I kind of like the suburbish kind of yeah, feel of it. It is nice because when right before I bought my place, mm-hmm. I was really wanting downtown. Yeah. I'm like, Oh, I, I'm young, like, let's do it. Right. And my realtor is like, not smart. And I'm like, fine, <laughs> right. I, I will. It, it stay sounds in nice, suburbia. but I'm like, I'm glad I chose West Des Moines. And it was close to my previous job, and everything is here. You don't have to leave. Mm-hmm. And I was like, traffic, don't get 
to deal with that. Right? Oh my gosh. Sometimes <laughs> no, I you. drive here and I'm like, <laughs> where are all these people coming right. from? Right. I feel like I'm always running late. So dealing with that traffic would not be. Because be you good. like to sleep in, don't I do. you? Yeah. So do I you consider yourself a night owl? Yes, a night owl for oh, sure. Yeah. Funny. But it's funny because sometimes I can be a morning person, but I would say majority of the time I can stay up super late, but yeah. then it's uh, trouble getting up in the morning. <laughs> I usually have multiple alarms set every morning. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of bad. Oh, that's funny. Do you yeah. have the... Eh, eh. I have whatever the like iPhone... Um, um, the normal yes, one. Yes, whatever that is. It's I, annoying. I just bring it up because I was just talking to the guys yeah. before. I'm like, what would you want your alarm ringtone to be? Yep. And mine, I don't know. I'm a one alarm person once I hear it because normally <gasps> I, I know I'll was. have to be up for something. Mm -hmm. So it'll be in my head. But yeah. Oh, I'm terrible at that. I literally, I think this morning, let it snooze. This is embarrassing. I shouldn't share this. But like for sure. literally an hour. And I'm like, okay, th now it is time to get up. This is bad. I am also so weird because I know the snooze is nine minutes. Oh, so I'll I didn't even know that. Yeah. Wow. So I'll set my alarm for like 521. Oh. So if I hit snooze, then I'll wake up at 530. Okay. I do like that. It's easier. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get out at, you know, five or 632 or seven. Oh, Not that right. I get up at six, but I wish I did. Um, no. But yeah. I am an early riser for sure. Are you? Good for you. I've always been. Yeah. And I don't know why. I, it's when I'm most creative too is okay. in the mornings. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. Right before the coffee kicks in, then right. the coffee kicks in and I'm a whole, <laughs> right? <laughs> whole new woman. Um, so what activities or hobbies did you do growing up as yeah. a kid? Um, so growing up, I played sports. I was really involved with, um, I played basketball and soccer were my main two, um, and was on traveling teams for both of those or AAU teams growing up, yeah. um, for both soccer and basketball and, um, played those all throughout, you know, elementary, middle school, and then both in high school as well. And awesome. um, yeah, it was fun. I, I really enjoyed it. I suck at soccer. Like I am the most <laughs> uncoordinated. I think it's I did hard. soccer one year. Yeah. And they just like when you're five, yep. they just put me in the goalie and like, just stand there. You're tall, too. So that would actually yeah, be a good right? position for you. <laughs> and I'm not coordinated. I can't really run in grass. <laughs> hey, so. that's okay. No, it's, it's a great. lot to kind of, yeah, do all of that. So what is your favorite part about the work that you do, both, I guess, from your experience at your previous job yeah. and what you're getting engulfed in now? Ooh, that's a good one. So I would say probably my favorite part is being able to work with clients and help mm -hmm. them achieve their goal, whatever that might be, yeah. um, and the little steps for them to get there um, and the end. But I would say just interacting with the clients and helping enhance that relationship with whatever products or services we might provide to them. Yeah. Um, but my favorite part is getting to work with clients every day. I love that. Mm -hmm. Anna has been a godsend for me <laughs> the I past couple so. weeks she's been here. I'm like, please organize this because I'm too squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. And she can put it in a sheet. I'm like, looks good. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> I have a random question because yeah. you are so always upbeat. What makes you so positive? Oh. I'm like, well, thank you. I don't feel like I'm always that way, but I hope I'm perceived that way. Um, I don't know. I always feel like you always have to have a smile. Like, I always like to have a smile on my face. I don't know. It's always just like, I don't know, not my trademark or something. But yeah. a lot of people bring that up, and I'm like, I don't even realize it half the time. But yeah, it's just I'm, part of who I you like are. I like to be happy, I guess, and, you know, bring a positive outlook on things and try and, you know, see the best. And yeah, yeah I don't know. It's more fun to be around a positive, happy person oh, than someone who's sure. negative, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. So what? <laughs> something that will like piss you off then do you have a pet peeve Ooh, or I do but now I'm like trying to think of what it actually is I'm um me and my sister got in our first roommate fight oh this week gosh, please that was tell bad more. oh god it was about some like dumb grocery shopping and splitting the bill it was so stupid yeah it was so dumb but that like really pissed me off it was just some like stupid little argument it was so petty it gets that way with me too like I could bad. get heated in a moment but then I look back yeah. I'm like why and neither heck? of us even apologized to each other. But then last night I was like, okay, let's go get some ice cream. And right. then we were good. It's so. always wake up, new day. New right. Now. Like, I yeah. agree. I'm with that too. I'm, I have pet peeves, but I'm like, I don't even know what they are off the top of my head. If someone really gets under my skin, I would say. Yeah. yeah. There's one I have. Yeah, what are yours? Oh, gosh. I don't like when people. It's something. Oh, I know one. It's not a pet peeve, I guess. Mm. No, that's more of. This is not a pet peeve at all. But think. you know when circles are a bunched together really closely and it's like trypophobia? Oh, okay. Oh, my God. My <laughs> neck goes into my body. Oh, my God, stop. Really? I can't look. Like, sometimes when 
water droplets or condensation yeah. I will see it and I will be like Ooh. it's oh, so no. bad yeah. like those die or the diaphragm kind of thing or oh, never um, mind. it's kind of like there's it's you know how That's a funny. beehive they have those hexagons mm-hmm. it's like that but it's not the hexagons that really I mean, they kind of do, but yeah. it's more of a circle. Gotcha. No, that's interesting. <laughs> it's really pinpointed. Hey, that's okay. That's good. I also good. don't like nail biting, but it's also kind of, it's contradicting because I always put my nail yeah. on my tooth. Oh, funny. But I don't like when people bite them. Okay. I've never really <laughs> noticed that about you, but I feel like if my nails, I have to, I normally have them painted if they're not. So <laughs> but um, if they're not, I feel like I might bite them. But yeah. That's why you My dad painted. does when he's yeah. like anxious and nail stuff. Biter. <laughs> so what do you like to do on the weekends? How do you like to Ooh. spend your time? Well, I was going to say, I, so when it's summertime, summer's my favorite season. So mm-hmm. I love to be out by a pool. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and just relaxing either in the water or out and just getting some sun. Do you um, like the lake? I do. Yeah. I don't have, I don't really <gasps> know anyone with a boat, but oh if gosh. I did, I would Someone love to. Someone hit Anna that. up with no, a please. boat. <laughs> that would be great. She That'd needs to awesome. live that life. I know. I haven't been boating for a while. <sighs> um, but I would say just, you know, being outside going, I like to take my dog for a walk every day. Um, going out with friends. I like to try new restaurants on the weekends or yeah. just try somewhere new. What do you like to eat? You know, I'm not super picky. Yeah. Um, just kind of depends. You know, like I, um, there's nothing like particular. Like I love chicken strips. Okay, I'm chicken. Kind of yeah. known as the strip and Michelle. Yep. Oh, uh, I like that. Yeah, we have Ooh. a. <laughs> it's kind of seductive, yeah. huh? No. <laughs> but I do love me some chicken strips. Yeah. <laughs> so Sam's laughing. <laughs> at that was pretty. Good. I'm trying not to look at him because. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. So yeah, what type of re- what's the latest and greatest restaurant you've tried that where you're like I'm trying to think? You know, you're putting me on the spot. Um. <laughs> well, this podcast. Is about, you know. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, shoot. Uh, um, I haven't been anywhere s- lately. Where did I go last week? Didn't you I have went out. dinner plans with people last weekend? Yeah, where did I go? Oh, I tried um, Opa. It's like an Italian and Greek place on university. Yeah. I tried there. That was really good. It was actually steak night. I went there with one of my friends um, and or one of my previous coworkers, and she's like, oh, let's try this. Um, and we went there. Where else did I go? I went to Exile last weekend. That was uh, good. You that's always go fun. There. Yeah. We'll have to get you in. We used to have, um, we've kind of fallen off the tracks with it, but every month we would like to go to a new Ooh, restaurant and I try a new that. place. So we'll have to have you on our yes, restaurant committee. That'd be great. I need to get like downtown to some of those restaurants. Yeah. More. I usually just venture out here, Waukee, West Des Moines area. Yeah. I need to learn more about out here because yeah. people are always saying, where do you like to eat? And I always bring up Ankeny places yeah. and they're like we're not going there <laughs> I'm like, I know well Any I'm not coming favorites, out here <laughs> right. I know it's kind of a track but. uh yeah so we had that month thing and I think well I know mine was because I'm very casual yeah. I go to I go to sports page yeah. all the time no that's nice you I go to my place. spots so I'm like let's try let's do happy hour at Caffrey's and yeah. now I love Caffrey's I, I like the, they I have like the best too. chairs yes no they're super comfy it's the grumpy goat yeah. chairs yes and they are if you know you know what, yes so those are the best those are good ones I agree with you I want to kind of get into some silly random questions okay. now so what team do you cheer for um, within the stage, um, or so like, or say that again. What is your sports team that you like to cheer? So for? I'm kind of like so for the Iowa Hawkeye. I'm an Iowa fan. Iowa Hawkeye fan. Thank God. Mm-hmm. I think yes. we have the Cyclones outnumbered here. Yeah. Good. Is it Mark the only? Is Mark the only? Who else? You Sam. Are? Oh. Oh my God. You think you know someone until <laughs> I no, just an drop Iowa that. Fan. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 Yes. I'm a Hawkeye too. Yep. Do you have tickets? Mm, no. I Occasionally, my aunt and uncle have um, season tickets. I guess you tickets. live right by there. Yeah, in Cedar, or Iowa City, Cedar Rapids, yeah. pretty close. Um, no, n- I don't have season tickets, but every now and then can oh, grab some from gosh. someone. Yeah. There is nothing like a Saturday in Kinnick. I know, so fun. I mean, a uh, Sunday in Arrowhead might beat it, but yeah, Kinnick's so. pretty special. Yes. Um, do you have any other teams that you like to cheer for? I know what? Like, I really don't. Sports teams? Just because I feel like cause since we don't have a pro team here, it's kind yeah. of like kind of default to some of the other ones nearby, but I really don't. I yeah. don't know. Do you yeah. like going to football games, baseball games, basketball games? Yeah, I would say I enjoy probably basketball just because I played basketball yeah. the most, just because I understand it and how everything <laughs> right. how everything works and how people score points and everything. Basketball would be my favorite sport to either like watch live or on TV. Yeah. Um, and I also like watching football too. Same. Yeah. I try to understand soccer, but I, it 
I can't. Yeah. I yeah. try to watch it. That's so <laughs> it funny. makes no sense. Yeah. Because sometimes random sports will be up at sports page and right. lacrosse. I've been getting See, into lacrosse. I wouldn't lacros- know how, oh, I wouldn't know how that works. Oh, it's so interesting. So people, <laughs> Sam likes lacrosse, because you can get a penalty and then they just take you out of the game. So then Wait, it's like really? six on five or how many people okay. are on the field for three minutes or something like wow. wait that is a- that's how soccer is too actually <laughs> oh is yeah. it mm-hmm. oh I didn't know that yeah and I don't remember if it's 10 minutes you're out if you get um or it'd be like a red card okay or a penalty or yellow card or red cards I should say that I see I should I should brush <laughs> up on my knowledge um but yeah they can you can be taken out of the game for okay a while. you have so much to teach me we yeah. should watch a, right. watch a soccer <laughs> well soccer is coming to Des Moines yes. we're getting a soccer team um they announced that earlier this year, so That's that'll exciting. be exciting. That's huh? Cool. Yeah. You get some season tickets and go. just venture out. <laughs> um, okay, would you rather eat cookie dough or mm. cookies? That's a good one. I love cookies. Those are my, that's my favorite dessert. Okay. I would say cookie dough is super good while you're making them, but I would say cookies for okay. sure. Like yeah. actually baked cookies. And if they're warm, that's a bonus. That's where I was, I was having this discussion with someone because I was asking them and I'm like, Cookie dough is just so consistent. You always know what you're going to get with mm-hmm. cookie dough, but if you have a cookie, you never know what type of cookie right. you're going to get. Or it could be it, right. Mm-hmm. It could be a cookie you don't like to eat. Like mm-hmm. I like mine really soft and gushy, yes, and it me could too. be a hard, thin cookie. Exactly. Oh, my grandma gets mad at me. I sometimes I'm like grandma. <laughs> she's like, "How are the cookies?" I'm like, "It's not <laughs> what I want." <laughs> right. I know it's, it's like, hard uh, to get the great consistency, and you know if it's how. Yeah. Do you like chocolate chip? Chocolate chip is my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Good. Same. I also like snickerdoodle. I was gonna say snickerdoodle are good too, but chocolate chip my favorite or chocolate chip M and M. Ooh, that's good. I actually like that too. Um, Thelma's. Ooh, yeah. You know their cookie ice yeah. cream things. They now sell uh, individual cookie dough cookies Ooh. like in the freezer section at I the didn't store. Know that. I grabbed a bag. Yeah. Oh, I have one. So did you eat them um, as their cookie dough or once they were baked? cookie dough? Okay. Yeah. I funny? just grab a snickerdoodle cookie dough. That's and nice. It is That's easy. Amazing. Yeah. On the same food uh, topic, what is your favorite color of Starburst? Color of su- uh, I would say pink. Pink. Yes. Okay. I can see that. You're yeah. just like a sweetheart. <laughs> you just want to pink Starburst. Yeah. I say pink or red are my favorite, but pink. Yeah. Yeah. I like orange and yellow okay. so we would be perfect, perfect. we Let's could share split pack. the pack yes. and we'll be good I love it what is the last show you binge watched hmm. what did I watch okay this is embarrassing but I, <laughs> I watched the Kardashians this weekend oh, or the yeah. new season yep. on Hulu um we I love the that. Kardashians yeah. on this show yeah. yep. <laughs> what were your thoughts um it was interesting I haven't watched it in a long time and uh-huh, I, I think it was a little behind so I, st- I don't even know what season or what it was but it was it was interesting did you watch you watch the new one on Hulu or just a past season so it was the it was the no I'm trying to think I think it was the new one the new yes, one yes. yeah that one was they had like the FPV drone fly yes, through and like, which is super cool <laughs> yeah that's what they're doing You're yes doing that no too. that or I was gonna say what did I watch before that I like I I rewatch Shit's Creek all the time I need to yeah. Rewatch that. It's I need my nighttime go to sleep show. That's kind of what I am too. I need to add that one back to the list. I'm rewatching. Did you ever watch Selling Sun- Sunset? Yes. Yeah. I so like that one. That's too. my sleep one right now because yeah. I've already that's seen a good it. One. Um, what is your go to cocktail? Ooh, I'm kind of all over. I would say I like ciders. Yeah. They're so, kind of sugary, but I, I do like a cider. I would have you say. tried this one? I have, but it's the ace yeah yeah the, is that one the pineapple Pine- actually pear. pear okay i like the pineapple one of okay. the ace ciders that's actually probably one of my favorites okay cool yeah i do like that cider it yeah, is really good. good and those ones like have no added sugar so it's not as sweet which oh, i like which is interesting fun fact yeah. if you were to add something to that keg which one what would you like to add See, I'm not huge on the ipas i feel like yeah, there's a lot I'm of ipas either we did um a beer taste test last Friday and I was telling my dad well one I was six for six but also I'm like dad I didn't I haven't drank half those beers yeah exactly (laughs) I would say maybe I'd add like a sour to that yeah I don't know oh that'd be good good. I like a sour Mm -hmm. they're sweet yeah the only one I knew in that competition was Coors Light yeah I actually knew that yeah (laughs) Coors Light you can tell that's mine yes that's awesome um what's your favorite concert you've ever been to Oh, that's a really good one. Um, I feel like I have like a top five of like, you know, really good ones. I okay, don't know. Okay, let's go through. Okay, I have to like put them on a hand. But I would say <laughs> I went to the Thomas Rhett concert um, that was oh. here in Des Moines like 
It was before the pandemic. I went to that was awesome. It was Thomas Rhett, Russell Dickerson, and Dustin Lynch. It yeah. was a really good show. <sighs> that one was awesome. I yeah, would I say that, that was, was probably one of the best shows. Um, I'm like dragging my, I, the Morgan Wallen one I just went to was cool. We had really so good, good seats, so it was like you were super close. We yeah. were like in the hundred level, like ten rows back, so it was like we were right and we were right next to the stage. So that was cool because we we're pretty close. Yeah. Um, Morgan Wallen, Thomas Red. That um, album was so good too. Yes, like I agree. It, it was just I know. amazing. Um, trying to think what else. Okay, I saw a Florida Georgia line at the Jones County <gasps> Fair actually. Yeah. And we were like the first like first or second row right there of people in the track and just being that close and seeing them and I knew majority of their songs that right. that show is super cool. Honestly yeah. the Jones County Fair concerts are my favorite <laughs> of all time. I've been going since I was in like middle school or high school. So I was so bummed that the one this weekend got canceled or rescheduled, I guess. But who's on Sunday? Is there anyone cool on Sunday? Um you know I think it's Oh, is it his name like Blanco Brown? Or uh, he has that hmm. song, the, like the Giddy Up um, oh. dancing song. Other than yeah, that, the Get I, Up. Yes, yes. Other than that, I couldn't tell you what he sings. Oh, so funny. I don't, I don't know. Did you tell me who got replaced for Lady A? Yes, but I'm trying to think. It was like three. Oh. Is it three? Sorry, it's like a rock or more a rock. rock. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't even country, really. So is it Three Doors Down? Maybe. Oh wait. Right. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that it's, could be fun. It's, it's a three with something else. Oh, cool. I don't know. Okay, uh-huh. well, we'll see. We'll, yeah. let, we'll let you know on Monday. Yes. <laughs> what is a concert that you want to go to? Hmm. Oh, I would say that's a good one. Um, I would say Luke Combs. I've actually seen him here when he came to Des Moines. Oh, really? But I want to see him again. He's just, his voice is just so amazing. Yeah. I'm going in October Are in you Omaha. Cool. Yeah, my friend got us pit <gasps> tickets. I'm like, Are you serious? Pit tickets? Too? Yeah. Dang, <laughs> I'm like, if awesome. I don't get Coors Light, I mean, Miller Light <laughs> on my, on yes, me, <laughs> I'm going to be pissed. It. Oh, my God. That, I didn't even know he was coming. I'm like, I have to yeah, he that. has a little tour. You should cool. get some tickets. We can carpool. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I love it. Um, what are you looking forward to most by being here at Bing Bang? What is something you're looking forward to? I would say, I mean, everything, yeah. but um, just kind of learning this whole side of things. Before yeah. I was more focused in radio and digital, digital um, and sales kind of side of stuff, um, or digital marketing, I should say. Um, and just honestly, like learning just the whole different side and what there, what goes into everything, the details and. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if I really answered that, but no, really that, just soaking it all up. It's and so much more than you think so just different. creating a video. Mm-hmm. There's so much more planning that oh my goes gosh, involved. Yeah. The details. Editing on the editing yep. side of see, things. I've never been a part of that side of it whatsoever, so yeah. I'm really excited to kind of see how those guys work their magic and yeah. do everything and help plan and do things on my end to make the final product be right because it, it is and that's why we love having creative strategy sessions with our clients mm-hmm. we can bring them in and, in and just kind of map it all out like what marketing goals do you want to reach how right. can we get there with this content and mm-hmm. what plan can we put in place so I'm really excited for you to yes. learn that process yes. too and to get more clients in here for mm-hmm. those because those are so fun you just get all these brains together and you don't know what's gonna right. come out of it or and what's that's gonna so end up on the cool that you guys do that i'm excited to be a part of one no. hopefully here in the near future they'll be good yeah and then our last thing that we like to do we like to leave people with some advice so Ooh. do you have any pieces of advice that you like to live by like be where you need to be or <laughs> um oh that's a good one i feel like um i feel like everything happens for a reason kind of thing you know mm-hmm. maybe you don't see it in that moment or like why something is the way it is but I feel like you know there will always something will show up later on that you're like okay that's why it happened yeah I don't know if that's really advice no but it kind is kind of just go with because I think that helps even with your positivity that you yeah. have it's just it's not worth it to get down on something just in the back of your mind knowing it's all gonna work yeah, out exactly it's happening for a reason as cliche as it sounds right right I know um, it's kind of like huh. I know but <laughs> I love that one too I always think that in the back of my head when I get anxious or mad yeah. like, it'll all be fine right right everything will be yeah. okay um I have actually one last question that okay. popped into my head how many dresses do you own <laughs> I, feel like you I honestly did I was like oh my gosh so I'm kind of a sn- I love dresses I'm weird they're just comfy and easy to put on uh, and I would say I'm like it's probably kind of embarrassing I probably have like 50 dresses oh, yeah yeah it's like, probably kind of bad I, kinda, I should count because I'm like you oh, need to count I, it might be embarrassing I probably have like 
Uh, I want to say like 30 to 50 around there probably. Oh, that is, I told. But I have like ones for different seasons. So I have like long sleeve ones, short <laughs> ones, ones that are like, not you know, like spaghetti strap, right. all kinds of stuff. I have way too many. Oh, that's so funny. It's like my whole wardrobe. I was telling you earlier, I have like no casual shirts. It's all I dresses. Know. Well, I told Anna this morning, like I um, kind of dressed up for you today. I hope yeah. you realize that. I got a button up yeah. shirt on. I like it. That's oh, cute. Thanks. Okay, 50 is a lot now that I say that. I would say like 30. <laughs> 50 is way too many. I'd say 30. I have to tell the story though of yesterday when you were going to get your headshot Anna was <laughs> wearing a dress and she brought in two like, oh my dresses. god SBI and extra. she got pictures in the two and then put her old one back on and <laughs> that she, one just wasn't the right color <laughs> I loved it I'm like who are you I as know. I'm in my holy jeans stop, and black stop. t-shirt they're just easy and they like they people are like oh you're so dressed up and I'm like I'm not no. it's just easy and it's comfy no totally yeah I'm not Pants bringing you down I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, my beer gut's yes, on it right now. Let me tell you what. Okay, well, that's kind of all I have for you. I'm We're just so excited to have you on board and have you a part of our team and have you to meet these clients. Yes. It's just so much fun. You have your first shoot tomorrow. Yes, I do. I'm what excited. Are you, are you, are you excited? I'm kind of nervous because I'm like, I just don't know a whole lot what to expect, but I'm, I'm excited. It'll yeah. be good. It'll be a long day, but it'll be a good day. It will be, be a fun. long day. Gosh, yeah. you guys are gone from like nine until... Like sunset. <laughs> After that, once we get back here, because we're driving back from Guthrie Center, I think. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it'll be a long day, but it'll be fun. Yeah, the I'm sunset excited. stuff will be sick, so yes. that'll be cool. Yes. Okay, that's all I have for you. Well, Your hot you seat time me. is over. Yay. Uh, <laughs> be sure to check her out on our Instagram because she is going to be doing some TikToks for me, and you better <laughs> like them. So follow us at <laughs> It's Bing Bang on Instagram, and rate and leave a review and subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts as well because that's how we get our show discovered. Yay. Okay, I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>